Hello everybody and welcome to Travelling with Russell and welcome to a new video and welcome to Crocus City. Now this video is a little bit different from a lot of videos that I've done on the channel. It's probably the hardest video that I'm probably going to make on this channel. Mostly because of what we see behind here, what you've already seen on the channel on this particular video and what I'll show you a little bit more of. I've been here for about an hour already and I really don't know what to say. I don't know how to word the video. I don't know what to talk about. Now, at this point in the video, I filmed me arriving from the metro station, coming down to this makeshift memorial and Pretty much a lot of the video that I'm going to show you is without my voiceover. If you follow this channel, you know that most of the things I do are shopping center reviews, supermarket reviews, and conventions. Now, today is now Monday, and I'm here at Kroka City and the events that happened here in Moscow was on Friday evening. Now, going back to Wednesday evening, I was actually here at a food expo and making a video. I met some subscribers. I went out for dinner with some people that I met here. And two days later, this happened and I was at home for three days in a row and I was torn about coming here immediately to make a video and I was torn about how I'll make the video and put it together. So I'm here now. Now there is obviously a lot of people who may not want to watch this and read the title, saw the thumbnail and didn't want to watch it. I can understand that totally and maybe some people do want to watch it. Now, really what I'm going to talk about really uh, is about the region where we are and the different things that are here. Uh, what I'm not going to talk about is what happened, what happened afterwards, uh, what's happening at the moment, because I'm sure a lot of people have seen news and seen coverage and that's really not what this video is about. This is mostly to show the emotion of people coming here like I did. I've come here really to find a bit of peace. I've been to this expo center here, I'm gonna say hundreds of times in the last nine years that I've been in Moscow. And I know this place very well. I was here less than seven days ago and I know this whole region where we are here from coming to many, many conventions. So it's a place very familiar to me, even as an Australian living here in Moscow. So I hope this video is okay. And I'll talk a little bit more slowly through the video, but I'm sorry if this is a bit of a longer beginning or middle of the video. So yeah.
A lot of the Russian TV channels are also preparing an evening news story and perhaps what are some of the updates to the event. So they're actually dotted all around this car park here because I think even for them it's tough to film things immediately where all the people are coming to lay flowers and teddy bears and different trinkets. I'm sure a lot of people are watching this from around the world who perhaps aren't a subscriber to the channel and are maybe not, in, not aware of this territory where is Kroka City. Now it's actually not the name of a city, it's just this whole building complex. Now off in the far distance you can see the concert hall and the structure where the fire was. And then there is also an aquarium there as well and there is a hotel and then right here is all of the convention halls I think all up there's about 17 or perhaps 20 convention halls that run this entire distance 
uh, right the way to the end. And then off in the distance there we can see Vegas. And that's actually a very large shopping center. It's called Vegas Croca City. They have a few of them around Moscow and they've got different themes. I think if I'm not mistaken, it's a five level shopping center, 22 screen cinema. It's a big place. There is also a very large uh, two story supermarket here, uh, just off behind these buildings, which we can't see. So a lot of people come to this region for a lot of different reasons on different days of the week. Now there isn't actually any conventions going on right now. I think the next one is on the 3rd or 4th of April. I'm scheduled to come to one here. And of course in normal times this car park here would be absolutely full. And of course while there's not events scheduled there isn't. And there's a certain feeling you know, like an emptiness. I don't know how to describe it. I've actually had to come and film the video further away than where I see the memorial because it's, it's, it's tough to stand there and I'm not sure to come up with words to, you know, talk about it. So it's, I'm doing my best. Just to talk about the location, also where we are here. Now in a lot of news and media, it's talked about that it's in Moscow. Now this actual exact territory where I'm standing here is called Moscow region. And the actual border or separation of Moscow and Moscow region is the big highway right here called the Makad and this is a very large multi-lane highway that circles the entire region of Moscow and then where we are here we're just on the other side of the highway and just technically on the outskirts of Moscow here in Moscow region geographically from here it's about an hour by car to get to the center of Moscow it's about 20 kilometers in your head, it's not that far uh, distance wise, but just with the traffic and the roads that you've got to navigate from here, it's not close. And a lot of people perhaps think this is a lot closer to the center of Moscow than what it is, especially if you've not been to Moscow. Moscow region is where I also live, but I'm actually about an hour and a half away from this. This particular region is in the northwest of Moscow, where I personally live is in the southwest of Moscow. So about, a, well, about two hours to get here by a couple of different forms of transport. Please understand uh, this video is really not how I make videos. Um, it's not how I want to make videos. You know, my videos are always positive. They're always, I think, informative. And, you know, this video really is mostly for me to come here um, and pay tribute if that's the right word, to mourn and to document what I'm seeing here, what you're seeing here, um, and to honor the people that tragically lost their life literally a few days ago. It, it, please understand that 
this video is what it is. Uh, there's a lot of pieces that I'm filming. You know, I, I can't speak. I can't do voiceovers for that. So just take it for what it is and know that you're watching, that you're here with me. And, you know, as a resident and, and as an Australian living here in Russia, you know, I think in a way it was my duty to come here and to show this to everybody. And perhaps the bits that are not shown on the news and the few seconds that are in the background of, you know, a reporter's video. So I hope this comes out as good as I'm making it. I'm going to apologize again because, you know, a lot of the video is just raw footage. It's just me walking around here and paying respects and creating this video. And I hope, you know, this video just gives you a bit of a glimpse of the amount of people that have come here to Crocus City in the last few days. And I think perhaps for a long time to come to visit this site or this location and pay respects. I, I really can't think of the right words that, you know, would be as polite as possible for people that have lost their lives here I was here last Wednesday and then it happened on Friday and this building right here I walked in and attended an event here. This is a very big territory, it's, it's not a small place, you know, so a lot of people come for many different things, not just for a concert, not just to the convention center here or the shopping center, so it's it's a lot of things to a lot of people. There is a lot of housing nearby as well. Of course, the main highway here is a pretty busy road. Anybody that knows Moscow and knows the Makad, you know how it's like it's endless traffic. And, you know, the amount of people that are coming out here and still coming now as I'm slowly walking away. I'm gonna take a break for a few minutes catch my breath, I'm not sure, collect my thoughts and then I'll come back for one last look and then make my way home.
as I come to the end of this video, I hope it came out okay. Now, that's all I can say. I mean, coming here, it took me a couple of days to build up the courage to leave the house and to come to Crocker City, to this region where we are here. And it wasn't simple to even come to this place. I know it so well. I've been here, I'm going to say, hundreds of times, and I, I've repeated that in the video. And, you know, I, I, it's not often I'm lost for words. If you've met me in person, if you've watched my videos, you know I can talk the leg off a donkey, I think is the right expression. And to come here and be stuck, you know, and of what to say, I, I hope whoever's watching around the world, you know, uh, understands a little bit more about what happened here, or at least showing the Russian community and people from other countries that are here showing their respects for what happened, I mean, not more than a few days ago. It's tough. Um, thanks, everybody. Thanks for watching Traveling with Russell. I hope to see you on another video. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel at this point, you can. If you've got to the end of the video, thank you so much. And I'll see you in another video. Bye, everybody.